dumps it into the left corner where it's fought for and Dutcher gets it. Pass in front, the shot comes in from Riley. Bickle looks for it, jumps on it. A save and pushing and shoving afterwards as Riley didn't like being contacted following the shot. Down to 126 left to go in the PK for RMU. Bickle was in a good spot there. He, he was, I mean, what goalies are really starting to do, and you'll see the new age goalies do it, is instead of scrambling, they just make sure they're in the right spot. And, and he, was, he did a good job right there. Well, Charbonneau on right wing for Mercyhurst. Riley with a slap shot, deflected, bouncing off. Another shorthanded chance coming for Robert Morris if Luke Lynch can hurry. He's in one on two. Nice move to get him just in the first 10 minutes. Lamb and shot, good save by Pickle. Off the right forearm. Now underneath, Dortz doesn't know where it is. Trying to figure out who that was that jumped up there off the puck for Mercyhurst. Puck comes free now over to the right wing board, excuse me, left wing boards in front of us. Left point to Lancaster, feeds the left circle, comes over to Burash, shot saved by Pickle, sees it through traffic, throws the glove up, nice save there by Andrew. Yeah, it was a great save. Had some bodies in front, but he tracked that one very cleanly. And it was kind of a, uh, not quite a knuckle puck, but did have a lot of steady rotation to it, but Pickle hung with it. And that's kind of his MO, isn't it? He? He's a goaltender who'll fight his way to every save if he has to. That's right. They're weird, but they do their job sometimes. Rather, Dutra now feeds Lancaster. Charbonneau top right circle. Nice pass in front that goes off of a fallen penalty killer. Dutra had a golden opportunity. Was that uh, Israel? Yeah, who dove Israel. in front of the shot. Great effort giving up the body from Eric Israel. Another good block. Again, that, that would have been an empty net goal for, for the Lakers there if Israel doesn't lay out for that shot. Skating to create an angle. Pass over to Ferguson. Now comes back to Israel. Wristing it in, and it goes in! Eric Israel got that shot in from the top between the two circles, high on the slot, and it's 1-0 RMU. Izzy on the board first for the Colonials. It may have been deflected by Timmy Moore. Yeah, I think, I think Timmy Moore got a piece of that because even Israel, after the puck went in, pointed down to Timmy, and, and Timmy was raising his hands like he got a piece of that in front of the net. That was a great tip. And immediately the Laker bench wants a challenge. They think it was deflected in with a high stick. So the officials confer here about the deflection. Looking to exit the zone, here comes Mercyhurst. Good skating from Burrash, long shot goes in. Charbonneau evens things up for Mercyhurst through a bit of a center drive screen. It's one to one, immediately the Lakers tie this thing back up. That's just a good play, a good center line drive, chips out wide and Charbonneau fires that puck off. Yeah, Pickle seemed to react a little bit late on that one, and Mercyhurst talked about the importance of the first goal. They erase it immediately. Everybody's got to be tired, right? Diagostin goes down early, a puck goes over his head. Long shot came all the way from the point from Mann, and he went down, he saw the puck get deflected, but it never got to him, and it stayed up in the air and fell into the net behind him. The Colonials get a break, it's 2-1 to one, RMU. That's the hockey god smiling down on the Colonials right there. That's just a good bounce. I think, I don't know if whether it hit a Colonial in front or what, but Israel took a shot from the point, bounced, like you said, straight up and behind the Augustine. Yeah, so I guess credit Israel and not Man, and we'll see what happens here. It's gonna be under review. The last one was not reviewed. They will review this one. Piacciatini intercepts a pass. Coleman was waiting for the breakout. Charbonneau wrist shot goes off of Pickle. It's in the air. It's loose. Charbonneau takes a stab at it, and it's in. It looks like Charbonneau got his second goal. Great work by the Lakers to get a pass that was intended for a breakout to Coleman. They turn defense into offense, and it's 2-2. Two two. Lakers respond for the second time tonight. Yeah, they did, and they did a good job crashing the net there to pick up that rebound. That was a, Didn't look like it would come to anything, but they just kept throwing the puck in the net, and it wound turning up good for them. If I had that right, give credit to Piaget. Now check from behind, no call. Derek Schooley, I rate about that. Triggers out the other way. Pass in front, shot, and a score! Horoyak is able to put the puck in in the back end, and Derek Schooley upset. He thought that was started by a penalty against Mercyhurst that wasn't called. That was a really good play by the Mercyhurst Lakers there. The tic-tac-toe two-on-one. Um, the call up at the bench could have gone either way in my opinion, but um, it, Robert Morris kind of got punished there for not getting the puck in deep on a late, late on a shift and uh, the Lakers capitalized because of it. So for Rahoriak, that is his second goal of the season and just his third point on the year and it's a three to two lead for the Lakers. By Piacciatini who's been good tonight for Mercyhurst to take that puck away. Wrist shot is in from Mann! 
from distance. He scored that one from the bowling alley across the street, and it's three to three. All of you is tied it. That's a that's a big goal for Rob Van. I know he's been wanting to get that monkey off his back all year, and we've been working on his shooting in practice, and I'm sure he's pretty pumped about that right now. Coming from a leader like him, I'm sure that's going to energize the bench for the rest of the period here. First goal for Man, second power play netting of the evening for RMU, fourth point for Rob. We got ourselves a tie game with 8.56. Charvel plays it back to Rule on the faceoff. Todd's wrist shot goes wide. Hard rebound though. Can Pickle get over in time? No, he can't. It's a goal. Burris wins it in overtime for Mercyhurst off the long rebound off the end boards. Pickle couldn't close it off at the right post, and Mercyhurst has won on the road 4-3 with 28 points. But uh, that'll do it. 4-3, your final score. Burrish with the game winner in OT for the Mercyhurst Lakers.